Welcome back, JC here, and here's how you connect the D4R2 receiver to the SP Racing Mini Fly Controller. I will be leaving links to the D4R2, SP Racing Mini, and Tyrannus playlist in the top right of your screen and description below, so check those out for other helpful videos. If you look at the SP Racing Mini Fly Controller, uh, these are going to be the input pins down here by these two switches, and if we look on the back side, You'll see where it says PPM, 5 volt, ground, 5 volt, R1, and T1. Because we will be using this in PPM mode, we want the PPM pin for the signal wire, which is this pin on the end. And then, of course, we will have 5 volt to power the receiver and ground. So, I just soldered on a three wire servo cable like this. You can use the pin headers if you want and plug one of these in on the other side as well. Uh, either way is fine. Uh, the PPM pin is also labeled on top, and that's where the white signal wire is going, then power, then ground. On the D4R2, you may have noticed that it came with this little jumper. This is because without the jumper, it's in PWM mode, meaning we will only get four channels, and we would need a signal wire for each and every channel, plus a power, plus a ground, so a minimum of six wires to only get four channels. But if we take this jumper that came with it, put it on the signal pins for channels 3 and 4, that converts it to PPM, meaning we will now get 8 channels and only using 3 wires. You then want to uh, plug your server wire in, just like that. Make sure you have signal on the outside, which is channel number 1, then power and ground towards the inside. Also. It goes on these top pins, not these back pins. The back pins are actually channel number two. Now for telemetry, if we go back to the flight controller and look on this back side, where you see R1 and T1, that means it's UART number one. Receive is the R, T is the transmit. For telemetry, we need the transmit, so that's why I have soldered my wire onto T1, which is this end pin. The harness that I'm using is the 4-pin, four 4-wire four harness that came with the D4R2. And I just removed all the wires that we don't need. So if I plug it in, you will see here the only wire I'm using is the one on the very corner. The three other wires you don't need, uh, you can either cut them off or use a razor blade to lift the tabs up and then pull them out individually. Now that we have everything wired up, uh, let's just plug in a USB cable. Once you plug in the USB, it will power the fly controller and receiver both. At this time, if you have not yet bound your receiver, you need to go ahead and do that. Uh, just look in my D4R2 or Tyrannus playlist and you will find a video on how to do that. I've already bound mine, so if I turn on my transmitter... Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. I now get the solid green light, meaning that it's properly bound and everything is working. At this point, you can continue. So if we go into beta flight, or clean flight, either one, doesn't matter. First, let's go to ports. And because we put the telemetry wire on UART number one, what we want to do is first turn off MSP, because you can only do one thing on a UART at a time. Then come over to telemetry, and we want to choose free sky. Then save and reboot. Now go to configuration, scroll down. You want to make sure that this is set to PPM because we are using the D4R2 in PPM mode. Then scroll down again and make sure you turn on telemetry. Then save and reboot. Now everything should be working. We just want to test it out. So go to receiver. Move your joysticks around. They should all be moving on your screen. If you have created any switches, you can test those out now. Things are about to get real. Hybrid mode. Stunt mode active. Cheat mode active. Okay, everything's working there. Now on the Tyrannus, you want to press menu to go to your model. Hold down the page button to go backwards a page to telemetry. Scroll down and discover new sensors. Once it's done, press Stop Discovery, and here's all of your telemetry sensors. Uh, VFast is going to be your voltage. It's showing zero right now because I don't have a LiPo battery plugged in, but once you plug it in, it's going to show your voltage. 
And that does it guys. So check out those other playlists for other helpful videos and I will see you again soon.